Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Talker Moments. For two weeks now, we've been talking about things that people can relate to because they're lifestyle based, okay? Things like just tip and also how to sports the gold digging man. I got an email from a guy this week saying, Toke, speaking as the chairman of the committee of guys, we are very upset with you because you keep cock blocking us and sharing all our secrets. So before he signed off his email, very funny email actually, I didn't really pay any mind to it. He asked me a very interesting question. He goes, why don't you do a video for the guys, how to spot a gold digging woman? And I decided to do this video to help you, help yourself by watching it, okay? And for the ladies, don't feel like this week is not for you. You have to watch too. All those friends and colleagues that you have, that you've been seeing every week, and you've been thinking, ah, oh, this person has a perfect life. Chai! See her car. See her clothes. She has hammered. She just looks like glass. And you're giving yourself headache thinking, oh, I'm working this job. The salary is not even enough. Here yeah, I am just trying to hold one boyfriend. You better watch so that you learn for good. There are plenty of them like that. During the week, you, you don't hear from them. You don't know where they work. You can't place them and say, this is what this person does for a living. Over the weekend, everybody's doing tango, it's Friday, we're all going to the bar to go and chill, uh, we're rocking the nightclub together, and you're saying, ah, man, this girl just has it going on. They don't call themselves gold diggers anymore. You see, for the women, it's called high-class babes. They are high-class. And you have to have a very sharp eye to spot a high-class babe. They don't come easy. I actually feel bad for the young guys, because lately, every babe in a big game, every girl you see, it's a Louis Vuitton wearing girl, a Prada smiling girl, a Gucci carrying, you know. There's no small girl anymore. Even the girls in unis all have sophisticated handsets. They have the latest gadgets in town. I don't know what you're talking about. You said that you're earning your pay. Before you buy the thing, you go think twice. These babes, they just be calling the money anyhow. They're high class. First thing for the guys, you can't call them gold diggers. Ah, that word is too cheap. They're high class babes. And you see, the high class... He has level. The streets are empty. If you drive by at night, you can count how many girls are standing on the street because they have devised methods on how to go about their business. It is a job. As you work in the bank, as you work in an oil company, some girls, this is their business. This is their livelihood. You at least you do 9 to 5. They 24 hours on call. There's no 9 to 5 food. They are usually busy the most at night. But you see, every hour of the day is books. They can't spend time talking to you as a small boy. What do you have to offer them? Time is money. The time she didn't to say hello, ah, $10,000 could have dropped just by some hello. So why should she waste her time with you? So I'm going to share with you guys tips on how to spot high-class babe. You see, these high-class babes, first thing is they don't fly economy. You can never find them in Kocho, lie lie. They believe that you have to use money to find money. If you don't know what that means, man, you need a dictionary. It simply means you have to act the part so that you can attract the level that you're looking for. So that high class babe, she can borrow money to buy a business class ticket because she believes that when she comes back, she will give you more than what she borrowed. And sometimes they're always successful. You see, when they sit down in that business class like this, they have to target who is sitting next to them. They know you before you know them. They buy all these newspapers, okay? So they know who is who in the society. They know the oil company moguls. They know the ones that are business traders, that their business has hit very well. So they sit down there. When the guy tries to talk to them, Ah, oh. <laughs> they first have to pose, okay? Because by the time you come off cheap, no money can drop. You have to act like, hmm, who are you talking to? Number two, these people, they always run their business. They can never work in the 9 to 5. It's not possible. If you are toasting a babe or your, your girlfriend does not work in the 9 to 5, you know, and she's telling you she has a business, which you cannot justify, perhaps she might be a high-class babe, you know? It's a business. Don't be funny. Ah, stop that joke. They sit down on the plane as you're chatting with them. They tell you if they're not doing events, they're supplying contracts. And they have to place themselves high because for me to be sitting in business class, I have to defend it. So I can't be doing cheap jobs. I'll tell you that I, I supply contracts. My state's governor, my local government chairman, he knows me because I give them toilet roll self a day. Everything. There's contractors. Their job has to be high class so that the guy himself will look at them and think, ah, oh, this one, she's really made. Three, they are well grounded in every field. That high class babe, politics, she could talk her. Business administration, she know her. There's nothing you bring up that the girl does not know. It's a skill. You have to know so that when the man is talking, he doesn't think that uh, all you are is the airhead. Number four, all the high class babes, they are yellow. If it's not original, it's enhanced. Ah, 
Your skin has to be speaking. It has to be luminous. When you see the skin, you said it first attracts the man. The man thinks, hey, I found my own. She might be a high class girl. They have to spend the money they make to look good. Looking good is serious business. Ah, five. They have plenty of phones. A high class girl can operate on just three GSMs. To write herself, she gets. If her phone rings at any time, they're ready to move. So they don't really have time to speak to you who do not have anything to offer them because why should she stay with you for the weekend when money is there to be made? Who are you? <laughs> if you don't have the money to give her, she ain't talking no business. Even when she's trying to even talk to you, you must be somebody. She has already Googled you. How can I forget this very important one? Then they lie, those babes. Hey, by the time they lie to you, even you as a man, you do not know the truth. Lie has to roll off their tongue because, you know, they always have to defend where they are. Once you say one question, before you can even blame, the guy has given you one lie and the lie has entered. If you are a girl who works hard for her money, who is there, you know, praying for God to just bless your hustle, and you have all these friends that are always complexing you, you don't know what they do for a living. You now be staying up at night, saying, God of Elijah, why am I broke? Why are things not working for me? Oh, girl. Don't be deceived. The more you look, the less you see. All is washed. And it's packaging. See, a lot of them are even from wealthy homes. Don't be deceived. The rich men's children, now them do and pass. They are the ones that have all the contacts because they know their father's friends that have money. If your bank account you no know, get six zeros behind, she's not in there for so far ahead. She's not built for the roads of Nigeria. She is built for the roads of overseas where the cars just go smooth and smooth and smooth. If there's a hiccup, she's out of the relationship. She has no business looking for you or trying to pity you, trying to listen to the excuses you are giving to them. They don't take excuses. Oh. Ah. Your money must be complete. That's all I have to share with you guys this week. Yes, sometimes we have to talk about these things. You know it. Stop pretending. It's okay. We love you the way you are. Just change because, hmm, the time is real long. Tell yourself what I'm telling you. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am at Tokestar with a double R. Until I come your way next week, I said, guy. Shine your eye. I say, babe, do not be complex by all these girls. You know what they do. <laughs>